So in this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the central tendencies. So that's going to mean a mean, median, mode. Straightforward, very easy. Let's click on stats and then click on summary stats. And then we want the columns. We're going to calculate the statistics in the columns, not the rows. Okay, let's say I want the miles per gallon as my um, variable, right? And let's say I just want the mean, okay, for the miles per gallon. Let's compute. And there it is. Easy. Miles per gallon and then the mean. But let's say I want all three central tendencies here, the mean, median, mode. How would I do that? Well, you can go back to options here and edit. And then we can add the um, other central tendencies to this field over here. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to need the median and the mode. So we scroll over here where the median is. Before you click on median, just um, press and hold on the command key for the Mac or the control key for the PC. Right? So I have a Mac. I'm going to hold the command key down. And I'm going to press median. And now it's stuck here on the right. And then you need the mode. There's the mode. Okay, all three. Now I'm going to click on compute, and ha, there it is. We got the miles per gallon, the mean, median, mode. Awesome. Now, what about if I want more than one variable? No problem. Click on option, edit. So you got a, a variable of miles per gallon. Let's say I wanted the cylinders, right? What do I do? You can click and hold on the command key or the control key. I got a Mac. I'm going to click on. I'm going to click and hold the command key. Click on cylinder. Let's say horsepower also and weight. And then click on compute. Notice that all the three central tendencies are still selected. And there it is. Mean, median, mode for all these variables. Ready to go. To copy this, it's very easy. Just click and hold and drag, and then copy the table into your Word document.